Hi, good morning YouTube. It's Julie K. Julie K. Marley from Highlight Salon. So one of the ladies that has become my friend on YouTube asked me if I could do some extensions in short hair, some pop-in color extensions. So I'm going to be showing you how to use these today. I really don't have time at the salon to do a client and film them, so I thought I would just do this short hair wig. So I've got my hot peppermint tea. It says rise and shine, mother cluckers. <laughs> so drinking that because my throat's a little raspy, so sorry. <laughs> okay, so a couple things that you're gonna need is a clip, your extension hair. We've got red, we've got purple, we've got green, we've got blue. And then I was gonna show you this blonde one that has a natural base. Like it looks like it grows out of the scalp. So these are the more expensive ones that we can put in. But we're gonna be doing these color fashion ones today. I'm gonna to recommend a small pair of scissors or a good pair of scissors. And you're gonna need your uh, extension tape. I'm gonna be using the Babe Double they also have a single tape, so I'm gonna be explaining that, the difference between a double and a single as we go. Okay, so first off, when you do a tape-in extension, it's gonna last about, at the most, seven weeks, and you have to take it out. If you don't take it out within seven weeks, that hair that is up at the top is gonna to get matted and tangly and be really hard to get out, and you could have hair loss or pull it out and cause a bald spot. So you have to redo these or take them out in at least seven weeks. And then you do what we call a up, where we move them up and take them out, spray them with alcohol, take out the tape, clean them, dry them, and then you can put them back in. And you can wear them two or three times. And if you get more expensive hair, it can last several years, like babe hair. Okay, so first off, you don't wanna do any uh, extensions about an inch around the hairline or an inch on the part because it's going to show. So if you've got really fine thin hair you might not be able to do this but we're gonna try on this wig which is going to be a little bit more of a challenge. <laughs> okay so we're going to take and we're going to draw a line where we want to put the extension So this is what they normally come like, but I'm gonna cut, cut them in half. And this is what we call a double, where we put one on top of each other and the hair is sandwiched in between. And you're gonna drop it down about a fourth of an inch to install it. And what that does is it gives us flexibility. So you can shampoo, you can blow dry. This is hospital grade tape. I know when everybody hears tape in extensions, they think that won't last. And if you've tried tape in extensions and they slid out, they weren't either installed good or you had bad tape. And so I can't stress enough that you need good tape. Babe is my favorite or twisted hair. And some of the hair extensions even come with good tape, but most of them don't. And if they get hot or they're old, they're not gonna stick. I did find this line on Amazon, this Win Life, and their tape lasts about seven weeks. Okay, and you're going to need a tail comb. And a tail comb is what we use in highlighting and perming because it has a, a metal tip end and that's going to slice through the hair and give you a really straight line. Okay, so to put these in, you're just going to peel off the tape if you have good tape on there. And you're going to drop it down about a fourth to half of an inch and press. And you wanna press for like 20 seconds and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So 20 seconds, hold. Okay, then you're gonna lift it up and that hair that is stuck to it is good, but you wanna take your tail comb and lift away any baby hairs that might make it not stick. Okay, so go ahead and take your fingers and press that in there like that, and then take those baby hairs and pull them away, and then you pull off the tape on the other one, 
and it goes upside down right on top of the other one. And again, you're going to press and hold for 20 seconds. Okay, so that is our green little hair extension. And then you can just cut it with the hair or slightly longer than the hair. And because this is real hair, we can curl it with the curling iron and make it blend in better. And I'm going to do that at the salon and then show you a picture at the end. Okay, let's go ahead and do another one. We're gonna do one in the bang here right now. So again, we're gonna take our towel comb and draw a line. You can kind of hold it up there and see where you want it to go. But that line needs to be really, really straight. Okay, I'm gonna put the blue one in the front. I really like blue. <laughs> I love it when I wear the blue ones in my hair. I get lots of compliments. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna be cutting this in half to make a mini hair extension. Okay, I'm gonna be pulling the backing off. I'm gonna drop down a fourth to a half of an inch, depending on how thick their hair is, and press. Press and hold for 20 seconds. Okay, then we're gonna be lifting it up. Pulling those baby hairs away from it. I like to press it on in with my thumbs, get those baby hairs away from it. Pull up the extra piece. Right on top of it, press and hold, 20 seconds, bring it down, comb it in to their hair. to wet it because it's been in a box. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put in one, two more, and I'll come back and show you the finished results. So thanks for watching.